love a pop culture reference in the middle of a crisis. And also this! Cisco's just amazing. I'm just saying that right now. The dude is totally rad. Welcome everyone to this episode of the crossover event, which was a two-night, four-episode event of Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, Legend of Tomorrow. And it all happened to be around a Planet X, Planet 53, and Nazis are invading, and, you know... Insidious plots arise and things happen and our heroes have got to stop the Nazis. How wonderful is that to see a crossover really, really done right and well. And especially for someone like me, which I have to give you some context into, I haven't caught up in this Arrowverse. If you're just tuning in, if you've seen my previous night review episode, you already know this. But for those who don't, for me, I have not caught up. I've seen the first two seasons of Arrow, season one of Flash, nothing really of Legends of Tomorrow, and really not a whole lot of Supergirl. I have caught up with these crossover events that happen, especially like with Supergirl and Flash, but I do have a good idea, you know? And then it still makes it so much fun that these writers know that when they're making it. So you're actually looking at someone who cares about the newcomers as much as the people who love this stuff anyway. And hey, I'm kind of both. So be that as it may, I went into this kind of with hopes that this was going to lead me in very nicely to what was going on. And for the most part, about 90% of the time, I had an idea of what was going on. The only downside is a lot of characters that are from Legends of Tomorrow. I was like, I know you're from that show, but I have no idea what you are. Oh, you can turn metal? Oh, <laughs> Great. But to be that as it may, let's get into a little bit of the plot. And also, I have to forewarn you, as much as I tried to do a spoiler-free review in the first night, I can't do this here. We're a little too far in depth just to say, hey, it's good. And you guys go, he was awfully vague. I don't think I like him. I don't want that to happen. So we're going to talk about this and actually say things that really mattered in this two-part um, finale night. So that goes without saying, if you haven't seen this by now, what are you waiting for? Unless you have work or something, stop holding off. Go watch it. This is, stuff is rad. It's amazing. It's really, really well done. And you are just wasting time not watching this. So why are you watching me? Go right now. It's fine. Come back when you're done. Yeah, I'm waiting. Okay, we're back. All right, so that's fine. You guys have finally caught up. You guys know what I'm going to be talking about here. So we're talking about spoilers here. So, Supergirl was captured by Overgirl, and you also have Dark Arrow, who is actually a spitting image of Green Arrow. This is going to complicate things big time when they get into a fight, isn't it? And so they want... Kara's heart because Overgirl's not doing so great. She flew, flew too close to the sun, she says, and she needs a new heart. The only person who would be able to give that to her? The other Kara, Supergirl. Hooray! What an insidious plan. However, comma, the only problem is, is that all the rest of their team is actually on Earth-X just the same. So they've got to try and figure out how to save her, get the hell off this planet, and then get back, but also stop the Nazis in the meantime. And oh, before I even forget, there are some new characters in the mix. On top of that, there's a revolution going on in this planet that have their own means to wanting to destroy the Nazis, bring back their society, and actually have a more positive life. And of course, they get the usual platitudes and the mumbo jumbo of, look, I really do sympathize with you. I do. I'm the head leader of this place, and I have been for the last couple of years. And the people before me have done so many things in the past decades. They have died for one another. Their grandfathers have died for one another. So I understand, but I can't help you. I can't do this and also try to start this revolution effectively just because you all have something going on. I don't know you, technically speaking. And that actually adds the timey-wimey idea that if these are parallel universes and parallel worlds, should I say, there are a lot of characters that may not have died in this said universe. And that means Citizen Cold ain't dead yet, so he's gonna stick around for a little bit and help out. But then we also get some new characters, as I just mentioned. And that, you actually get Ray, who actually, I guess, has, like, the power of the sun, I think. Let me look that up real quick. Generation of light and solid-like constructs conversion to energy form flight. So basically, he's got the power of the sun. Got it! Ray, or The Ray, is gonna actually have his own show later on, an animated series of, like, The Ray slash Freedom Fighters, which I'll probably like to look at one day. Um, I am doing an entire 
universe reviews of the Arrowverse, and that includes Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, Vixen, and all that stuff. So I'm actually going to be doing that on my channel, just so you guys know. So, so you guys can actually take a look at that. If you subscribe, you'll actually be seeing that more genuinely. Just make sure you turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything. And yeah, so that way you know. But that's actually kind of one of the reasons why I'm doing this in the first place. All intents and purposes being a complete nut and a goofball, but also tell you how I really thought about these crossover events because I've been following them, but haven't completely caught up. So what I'm actually doing is just going down the line and going, okay, so this came first, this came first, and it just to help to keep it all straight. So a few things that I haven't mentioned in my first episode night review is that the doppelgangers, they needed a prism, and that prism was to harness the red sun to make Supergirl vulnerable. Therefore, now that they have achieved that, they take her and then bring her friends to Planet X and never think for a second that this is going to come and bite them in the butt. But be that as it may, they're stuck there, they've got these collars that keep everyone pretty much preventing them from using their powers, and they get to use Supergirl's heart for all their intents and purposes. But of course, none of that comes to fruition because we're talking about superheroes here. That never, ever comes to being. Thank God. So you have a lot of these elements coming all together and telling one hell of a story. A lot of good kick-assery moments, a lot of great storytelling, and so much fun in the process. This is a much more action-packed second two episode act than, say, the first, where the first two were just talking... Then you get an action scene, more talking, then you get an action scene. It was really all about where they were and what's going on with them. Here in this second half, it's boom, 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 action scene, boom, 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 boom. A little bit of talking. Boom, 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 boom. But it wasn't all about just the action as much as there was actually a very hard-hitting death in this uh, crossover event, which they finally went there. They actually said, hey... Not all of these guys get to walk away in all their wonderful attire. Unfortunately, we lose the Professor. And the Professor was actually probably one of my favorite characters that I never got to know in Legends of Tomorrow, but I got to know him in The Flash. And I really, really dug the Professor. I thought he was so cool. But he did have a rather heartfelt goodbye, and I thought that was really well done. A little talky, but I thought it was really well done, considering the fact that Jefferson really was attached to him. He considered him a father, and the professor saw him as a son. So when this happens, the action, uh, that really does, of course, add the weight that, yes, these characters don't always walk away, get to go home. But had the professor not done what he did, none of our characters would have been where they are at that moment, meaning... They were trapped on the Nazi world for quite some time before they tried to uprise, get themselves out of there. They get to the generator room, the portal room, and unfortunately, that's where the professor got shot. He continued on as he did get shot and hit the lever and then got everybody out of there. Had he not, nobody would have been making out of that. They'd been having to find another way and probably took even extra longer, too. So all I'm saying is, is that I think that that was a rather good death. He died for something. He died very well, and he said his proper goodbyes. Let's also not forget the fact that Iris West and Barry Allen finally get married through... Diggle, actually. So he does actually show up in this. Haha! -ha. Of course, Supergirl is fine by the end. All the bad guys are neutralized. And also, saving the best for last, Felicity and Oliver get married too. <sighs> Doug dug it! I really liked this second half better than, say, the first half. And I'd actually have to say, just probably like everybody else, I really in enjoyed the Invasion one, but probably not so much as I liked this one right here. So, be that as it may, guys and gals, these are my thoughts on the second half of The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow crossover event, which was the two-night, four-episode of Supergirl, Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow. What did you think of it? If at this point you are watching this video and you have seen all of it, which I hope to God that you have, let me know down below. Don't be shy. I'd love to know your thoughts. Clack away. I know. I see you. I see you right there. Do it. It's okay. In the end, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this review. 
Also, if you guys are interested, please subscribe. I am definitely going to be covering the Arrowverse on my channel called Universe Reviews, even in my seven, seven minutes or less fashion, which I just talk about the show in general with no spoilers. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you like this, please share, like, subscribe, as I said again, and as always, until next time. <laughs>